fuck are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1944 movie, The Three Caballeros. So, um, <clears throat> in this movie, uh, Donald Duck is celebrating his 10th birthday, uh, when, uh, he gets these birthday presents from his friends in Latin America, and, uh, it, it combines live action and animation and uh, uh, has a few little shorts in it too. It's the second out of the package films from the 1940s. Um, but uh, and the shorts, the first one is the Cold Blood of Penguin which is narrated by Sterling Holloway and follows a penguin named Pablo who is fed up with always being cold in Antarctica so he's planning on making his way to a place with warmer climate and uh, he goes along the coast of Chile and uh, ends up planting in the Galapagos Islands and when he gets there he, he's enjoying it at first and then he starts to realize he kind of misses being at home so he, he can't really be happy in the heat or the cold. Um, it's a fun little short um, and everything. It, it, it's it's probably my favorite part of the movie, to be honest with you. And then you got the the flying Gachito segment, which is another animated one that uh, features a little boy and his winged donkey who uh, goes by the name Burrito and. Uh, they're, uh, trying to, uh, uh, like, win this race against these other gauchos. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little segment. And then you got the bio segment, which, uh, features Aurora Miranda, uh, dancing and singing. It's a pretty uh, nice little segment where it features her dancing and singing and it has some trippy animation and stuff with Donald and uh, and I can't remember, uh, Jose. Um, it's, it's a fun little, little uh, segment and uh, and then they, they have different ones where they go through different little parts of Mexican culture and stuff. It, it's pretty cool. Um, it, it's a pretty cool little movie um, and everything. I, I really enjoyed this one quite a bit. It, it's not one of my most favorite Disney movies, but it is one that I find to be fun to watch and everything. It, it's kind of kind of cool seeing, seeing different things things and everything and the way they blend the live action and the animation works pretty well it, it's not like top notch like, like other movies we've gotten in year, years later like Mary Poppins and Pete's Dragon and stuff like that but it still looks really good and holds up pretty well for being a movie from 1944 and everything so this is a, a pretty fun movie it's not my, like I said it's not one of the Disney ones that I like to revisit very often and everything because it just doesn't have that rewatch factor, but it does have some good moments and some catchy tunes and stuff like that. And the animation is really trippy. Like the the last second half of this movie is mostly just like abstract art, watching characters dancing and singing music and uh, with flashes of different abstract animation. That it's really trippy and stuff. It, it, it's fun, but it, it's just not something that I'd want to watch all the time, if that makes sense. So, I'd say I'd give this one a 6 out of 10. I, I find it watchable and enjoyable, but it's just not something I want to watch all the time. And it's an hour and 11 minutes, which you would think, with it being that short, it wouldn't be too... feel like it would... you'd think it'd feel like it flies by, but it actually 
does kind of get a little bit slow and stuff after a little bit during the, the second half of the movie. But um, anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of the three Caballeros. And I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody.